Hi there, thanks for joining today. I am making this uh, faux terrarium. I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's got um, some pieces I found at stores that are really inexpensive. The whole thing was really easy and quick to put together um, and just kind of a nice maintenance free uh, piece to have in your house or apartment since the real one I had died. <laughs> so if you wanna learn how to do this, keep on watching. Okay, so here are the things you are going to need for this little project. Um, I gathered some of this stuff um, on my own and also went to the store. So clearly you're going to need Windex and paper towels just to clean around the sides of the container. I got these seashells on the beach. These uh, little plants I got, they're fake, and I got them for $2.99 each at uh, Target. And um, you can probably find them at Michael's too. This is a strainer for the sand that I actually got from the beach. And this is a uh, little cool glass terrarium container I got for sale at Marshall's. Like I mentioned, I had gotten the sand straight from the beach, so I had to just dip my terrarium in since I didn't have anything else to grab it with. And uh, I just carried it back to the apartment. So as you can see though, there's little pieces of rocks, um, plant debris and stuff. So what we're going to do is sift that out So just to make a nice, cleaner, smoother look um, after you put all the plants and other things inside. Here's where we're going to do the sifting. And I just got my uh, an extra bowl so you can dump the sand in after. And we're gonna use a little strainer and just plop it on top. I liked this one because it had a handle and a little nub on the other side, so it just fit nicely on top of the bowl. One thing I did not realize was how much dust, like, <laughs> how much that stuff spread when you shook it. <laughs> Plus I was next to a window, so luckily it was blowing away for me. But you can see all the extra stuff in there, so maybe I should have done this outside. I don't mind though, because all my windows were open and I had my door open, so it wasn't like getting everywhere. And I just did this in small batches because there was a lot of sand inside. So just do this and repeat until you get all the sand sifted through. So because I had all that stuff in there, I'm just going over with Windex. Oh, I got pricked by a cactus thingy. Hate that. But I'm just cleaning it and wiping it down, making sure that you're also getting rid of any water or um, any moisture that's on there because then the sand will stick to it once it goes inside. Because it was getting a little dusty before when I was sifting, I decided to take um, just a measuring cup, a one cup measuring cup, I didn't have a funnel, I'm sure a funnel would have been preferable. And just pouring it very gently so that the dust didn't come up around the sides of the glass. And as I poured it in, I just shook it a little bit to kind of flatten it out and make sure that all the sides were even. See, it looks nice and even. All right, now these plants have a little tiny like nub on the bottom so that they stick into the sand nicely. Um, all you really have to do is just stick them in there. I like to just do them not centered, but a little off center so that you can fit all the plants in there. Plus we're gonna be putting some little 
other shells inside, so. But really you could, yeah, you can just play around with it until you find a design that you really like. It took me a couple of tries to, uh, to place them where I really wanted. So now we're gonna put some of those. This one looks so cute already. <laughs> I kinda liked it like that, but I think it'll look even better with some shells in there. Um, so yeah, some of these we've gotten um, on my last trip to Puerto Rico. We went to Vieques, so they had some really cool shells there, but like I said before, if you go to uh, Michael's or any other craft stores, they have, um, they have little shells there that you can buy. And another thing I noticed about working with the sand that was kind of nice was if you placed a shell in somewhere you didn't like and it left a little indent, you could just shake it out and it'll go flat. Here's the final look. You can make this your own creation. Um, it doesn't have to look exactly like this. Do whatever is you and use whatever um, little pieces, extra pieces you wanted to use to make it your own. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this as much as I did. Um, if you want to see any more crafts like this, please let me know. And if you just like my videos in general, subscribe by um, clicking that button below. That is all for today, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!